Low on artifacts of Mars, and here's a story that's inexplicable, judging from the uh, source. Sources, as Mark Dice calls them, the Washington Compost. And after, what, eight months of hate coming out of that rag, they want help? What they want is they want Trump to open up the uh, JFK archives. Now, I wouldn't have any problem with that. I don't have any problem with this, but I'm wondering how it is that a rag that has dedicated itself to hating Trump, pure hatred of Trump, all day, every day, how is there suddenly going to Trump for help? Larry J. Sabato is director of the University of Virginia Center for Politics and author of the Kennedy Half Century. Philip Shannon, a former Washington correspondent for the New York Times, unbelievable, is the author of A Cruel and Shocking Act, Secret History of the Kennedy Assassination. So, these are both liberals. I, I'm stunned by this. I don't know how it is that the Washington Compost even allowed this to get out. With a constant vicious hate, I would say that uh, Trump doesn't owe them anything. But, uh, later this year, unless Pro President Trump intervenes, American people will get access to the list of thousands of secret government files by turning point in nation's history. The 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy. So, Trump doesn't actually have to do anything. National Archives this week released several hundred of the documents which came from CIA and FBI files. Of course, the FRK researchers are scrambling to see whether they contain any clues of the President's murder. But many more documents remain on the scene, awaiting this release by October 25, year deadline set by 1992 Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Man. Okay, nature called, and I think I know what's going on here. Well, I was uh, answering the call the while. Uh, it looks to me like Washington Compost is trying to subtract. Believe me, Trump knows that this rag hates him. They hate him with every fiber of their being. So, but I think they're setting a trap, trying to intentionally goad him into sealing off archives so that they can point their fingers and say, see, see, Kennedy, cover up conspiracy Trump. I think that's what they're doing. You gotta watch out for these sons of bitches, they're tricky. 1992 law has already bought, brought some welcome transparency and resolved in the release of millions of all pages of documents regarding the assassination, including 441 files from CIA and FBI made public Monday. But about 3,150 other documents remain totally under seal, along with tens of thousands of pages, which have only been partially unsealed because intelligence and law enforcement agencies posted their release in the 1990s. Those are the documents that Trump could try to keep secret, and sadly he appears to be under pressure to do so. Both of us have written books about the assassination of been keen interest in what the president decides. Congressional and other official government sources have warned us in conference in recent weeks that at least two federal agencies will make formal appeals to the White House to block the release of some of these files. So they're setting them up, basically. Unbelievable. I knew this couldn't be for real. I mean, since when does a snake in the grass like the Washington Compost go to Trump for help? Well, at least I know what's going on here. They're setting them up. I hope he just ignores the whole thing and 
once these files be open. I think it should be open. That's not what they're trying to do, though, here. They're trying to cause more trouble for Trump. I'm Artifacts Mars. At least I've unraveled this. Thanks for watching.